Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So in today's video, we will learn what's the difference between a for loop and a while loop inside Python. Okay, so for loop versus while. Okay, so I'll take simple example so that it is it's easier for those people to understand who who doesn't have much knowledge about, about coding. Okay, so I'll take simple examples for both the for loop as well as the while loop and I'll try to make you guys understand what does each loop does and how it is different from each, uh, you know, uh, one another. Okay, in specifically in Python. Okay, so before getting started, if you are if you are new to the channel, you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel for latest updates on coding. And stay tuned to the end of the video, you'll be able to see the difference between a for loop and a while loop and you can use it in your future work as well okay so let's get started so if i start with the for loop so let me just take a small example so i'll just take an example to print uh, you know sequence of number let's say from one to five okay so i'll first of all make it clear that i am using a for Okay, I'm using a for loop. So in for loop, when uh, you have to print a sequence of number for from one to five, so for that, how will you write? So you will write for, and then I in range, okay. And since I have to do it for one to five, so I can write one comma six, and then it should be terminated by a colon. Okay, so this particular line, what it is trying to say, it says loop from 1 to 5. Okay, so what it will do, it will run a loop from 1 till 5. So it will basically print the numbers from 1 till 5. Okay, so for loop, you can write like this if you want to run the sequence of numbers. So for i in range 1 comma 6 okay now if you want to you know explain this line uh, like how we used to write in java c c plus plus so we used to write for suppose same line it can be written as i equal to 1 i less than equal to 6 and then i plus plus okay this is how it was supposed to write in uh, uh, we used to write in C, C++ or Java. Okay, so these two are the same thing. So only difference is the syntax has been changed in Python. Okay, it has been made quite simpler in comparison to this. Okay, now next, now that we have the for loop, our next task is to print it, right? So I'll just print the value of i over here. That's it. Okay, so print i. Fine. That's done. Okay, so let's move on now to while loop. How to, you know, print the same thing using a while loop. Okay, so for that, what you will do? So for that, when you're using a while loop, Okay, so here I'm just using an X line which will print using a while loop and it will show how to use a while loop and print the sequence of numbers. Okay, so now I'll move on to the next line and I'll, I'll when you're using a while loop, suppose I have a variable C, okay, which is initialized with a value 1. Now why I have taken a variable C? So the function of this is it will act as a counter. Okay, so it's a counter variable. Okay, that will count like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Fine. So now that I have the counter variable, I'll start my while loop. So I'll write while c and then I'll write less than equal to 5. Okay, or rather, uh, yeah, less than equal to 5. Okay, because I want from 1 to 5. Fine. And after that, what I'll do, I'll just print c because that's my counter variable and what else you have to do you have to 
increase the counter variable every time right so for that what you can do you can write c plus equal to 1 or you can also write c is equal to c plus 1 either of the one you can write so what's happening actually over here so the same thing which we did with the for loop it's being done over with the while okay so in the while loop what's happening if i want to print the sequence of number from 1 to 5 first of all you have to take a counter variable which will actually count the numbers like 1 2 3 4 5 right so c is my counter variable and i'm running a while loop which will run in 5 so c less than equal to 5 and terminated by a colon okay so inside the while loop it has print c that means suppose right over here if uh, i talk about this particular line so if suppose the value of c is 1 right now okay so when it enters the uh, while loop it prints c that means 1 is the output okay if i talk about the output so 1 will get printed and then it goes on to the next line here it's written c is equal to c plus 1 or c plus equal to 1 that means c value is now incremented so now the next value is 2 it will again go back here and it will check whether 2 is less than equal to 5 yes it is then at that point of time 2 will get printed okay then it will come again and it will say c is equal to c plus 1 now the current value of c will be 3 so again it will check this condition 3 is less than equal to 5 yes it is then 3 will get printed and so on it will go okay that's how a while loop will work okay so that's the difference between a for loop and a while loop okay so here so once i have incremented the counter now what i have to do is i have to come out right so now next what i can do i can go ahead and run this code okay so click on this and try to run this code so if you see the output what's happening let me just expand it so here you will see it, it's written using for a for loop and then one two three four five now using for a while loop one two three four five so that's what we wanted to print right so the output will be same but the functionality of the for loop and while loop are different okay so that's how you can use a, a for loop inside uh, uh you know python and a while loop inside python okay now if i take another example like let's say i want to print uh some uh, calculate the sum of numbers okay then it will make more easier to understand the difference between a for loop and a while loop in python okay so i just want to calculate the sum of numbers so first of all let's start the for loop for calculating the sum of number okay so i'll type print and then inside that I just write using for loop to print or to calculate sum of numbers. Okay. Now, next, what I'll do, I'll use the for loop, right, for calculating the sum of number. So, for that, I need a variable which will store my sum, right? So, for that, I'll take s suppose equal to 0 okay and then i'll move on to the for loop so for i in range and then suppose one two six and then colon okay next what i'll do i want to print the sum of number that means this variable which i have taken s equal to zero so s is equal to i'll write s plus i okay why s plus i over here so let me show you we call it in the programming language as a dry run so how it works so now that you know the s value is zero over here so s is equal to s plus i means zero plus i first of all okay that means if i print the value of s my first value will be zero okay then again what i have to do is it will go to this particular for loop and again it will check the value of i whether it falls in the range of not okay so now the incremented value of i will be one right so here it will be one so my next s value will be one and then it will be two three so it, it keeps on adding right so that's how it will be going on okay so let me see the is this 
Okay, so now that you have written s equal to s plus i, I will go ahead and print it. So I'll just print the sum is and then colon and then outside this you have to mention the name of the variable. That's it. Okay. Now I'll just press enter and I'll try to run this program. So what will happen? It will execute all the codes which we have written. Okay, so I'll just run it. So this is something else missing right over here. Okay. Okay, so right here, what we'll do, I'll just type this, okay, and then we'll try to run. So once we run this, now uh, just see the last part. So using for loop to calculate the sum of numbers. So what happens over here, it says 1, 3, 6, 10, 15 will be the output. So why 1, 10, uh, 3, 6, 10, 15 will be the output? So here, if you see carefully, so right here, if the value of i is 1 at point of time, okay, so once it is incremented to 2, then 2 will be added to it, right? So my next output will be 3, okay? Once the i value is incremented to 3, then my next output will be 3 plus three right that means my next output will be six okay so that is how it goes on so it keeps on adding to its own this particular number whenever the i value is incremented okay same thing if you want to do it with the for loop or uh, the while loop then at that point of time what you have to do is so let's say we do it with the while loop so i'll just write print and then a new line. So using while loop to okay. So now in while loop what you have to do is so since we have to calculate the sum so what you have to do first of all you have to take a variable which will store it store the variable which will calculate the sum right so let's say i take s1 as a variable and i initialize it to zero and this variable is taken to store the sum okay next one next what i have to do is i have to take another variable which will actually keep the current value right so suppose i take a variable as num and i give it to value one okay then i'll start my while loop and i'll test whether num is less than equal to 5. if it is less than equal to 5 it will run till 5 and then it will terminate so once i get inside it i'll write s1 plus equal to num okay that means s1 is equal to s1 plus num okay and then i want to increment the num value as well okay Fine. And at the last, what I have to do, I have to just print the sum, right? So now if I run this, so now if you see right over here, let me expand it, okay? So the for loop to calculate the number is this one and the while loop to calculate the sum of the numbers is this so both the outputs are same 1 3 6 10 15 but the way to write both the uh, for loop and the while loop is different so in this particular part what is happening let's see like a quick dry run how it works okay so here what's happening there are actually variables as s1 okay num fine so here we can see the value of s1 is 0 and the value of num is 1, right? So once I start the while loop, what it is checking? It's checking num is less than equal to 5. Yes, it is less than equal to